Good morning. Happy vlog as much as I can. Miss day 13. We missed day 12. Sorry. I just didn't vlog yesterday. That's, that's why we call it vlog as much as I can, miss. So, I'm sitting here waiting on my, my truck to warm up. <clears throat> and the leather seats are freezing. And I do have remote start on here, but I get busy when I'm running out the door for work and I forget about it. I don't use it more than I use it. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm dry this morning. So we're just waiting on my seat to get warm so I can sit my tush down. Um, but anyway, last day at Total Medical. I can't believe it. Three and a half years. It's surreal. It's surreal. So, um, I didn't get dressed up. <laughs> I have on my little brown sweater from Walmart, an Oklahoma t-shirt from Oklahoma Shirt of the Month Club, which I don't do anymore. Um, I might pick that up again. That was fun. You can still go buy t-shirts off of there without having a subscription. So that's why I canceled because I didn't like every single t-shirt every month. So I thought I can just cancel my subscription, go buy the t-shirts if I see one I like. Um, anyway, I've had this one for a few years. I'm wearing my uh, khaki joggers from the Sam's and my white tennis shoes from Walmart and some little turquoise earrings, some little iridescent stars because we love iridescent. Bit bit. Gonna get out the door. Head out to our last day. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, hungry. So I went to Bill and Ruth's behind me. I'm gonna miss Bill and Ruth's being right around the corner. I didn't go there very often because they're kind of pricey. I've been coming to this Bill and Ruth's since I was in high school. I got a small avocado salad with ranch and a sparkling ice grape raspberry. I like a sparkling ice. I don't think I've ever had grape raspberry. I should have just brought my big jug of water, but I didn't. So, I've just been in the office Doing my last day of work, training one of the other girls, taking my spot, showing her a few things. They'll train her, but um, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> but uh, I'm showing her a little bit. Look at this. Under all that cheese is an avocado. Cucumbers, carrots, pickles, pineapple, a boiled egg. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have a piece of toast, which is just perfect. I'm just perfect. Pickles. I'm not a big fan of baby carrots. They taste different to me than a whole carrot. Do they to you guys? Question of the day. This whole question of the day is not an on purpose thing. I just come up with random questions and I'm like, let's make that a question of the day. Do you like baby carrots? They just taste different to me. They don't taste right. They just don't. And I'm putting all my stuff on the side so I can get my ranch going here. You can see. Gotta get situated. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I'm gonna get, oh, no, dump it in the floor. I'm gonna get my ranch on there and then I'll put it back on there. Anywho, 
it's kind of a quiet day. It still feels surreal to me. But this is my last day over there. Shane and I are going to drive to Oklahoma City tomorrow. Something was going on with Riley's car, so it's at the dealership. Long story short, they said she had all a big bunch of problems with her car, and then now they're saying there's nothing wrong with it. Shane's a car guy, and so he's like, you know what, I gotta go to the city tomorrow. Do you wanna go with me? And I said, yeah, I'll go with you. Because I don't really have anything on the calendar tomorrow. And uh, so we'll make a day trip out of it. Go see what's going on with Riley's car. Get that handled so she can get her car back. And uh, that's about it. This got pineapple chunks on it too. What I really, really wanted, you wanna know what I really wanted? really wanted was a burrito and a taco but alas it is not my free day so that's not a thing I put in a Walmart grocery order and so tonight after I get done with my workout at Hot Works um, I'll pick up the Walmart order on my way home and then um, I got stuff to make tuna salad. The girls were talking about tuna salad a few days ago and I was like, I'm gonna have that. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna whip up a tuna salad for dinner or save it for tomorrow. I don't know, but at some point in the next few days I'm making tuna salad. I was hungry. Hungry, hungry. This morning I did make a few pieces of toast on um, 15 grain bread. Whole grain. And it's very carby. <clears throat> um, but the grains are good for you and <clears throat> um, I'm working out. So that's where I hit my carb max for the day was my toast this morning. Um, so tonight we're going to do <clears throat> Hot Thunder, which is the row machine, um, hot rowing, but it's only a 15 minute class because without the heat, rowing is cardio, <clears throat> um, and you can't just be in there for 30 and 45 minutes doing a row machine in 125 degree temperature. Can't do that. I mean, if you can, knock yourself out. But the classes are only 15 minutes. And then I'll come out of that, that hot room, wait 15 minutes, and then I'll go into another hot room, and I'm going to do hot bar. Kimberly texted me last night, my sister. She's had a membership to Hot Works for four years. I'm like, I don't think I ever knew that. And she doesn't go very often that I know of. But, you know, she's got a crazy calendar so she doesn't get to have the free time like I do but she sent me pictures last night I'll insert it here she took the hot bar class at her hot works in Lubbock and I haven't I said oh my god how was it because that's the next class I'm gonna take tomorrow night and she said it's harder than it looks and I'm like good we'll have a challenge Boiled egg. I'm just gonna dip it in some ranch. We'll have. Oh, we're losing it. Houston, we have a problem. Mm -mm. I'll drop my egg in my ranch. Anyway, she said it was harder than it looks, so I'm excited.
Sloppy eater. It's hot in here. It is 50 degrees outside. The sun is shining. Love that. Mm. We love that. This is a good salad. It's a good salad. Um, what else is going on? <clears throat> I need to do a little bit of Christmas shopping this weekend. Wrap that up. I want to finish that. Get that done. I'm ready to. I'm halfway done. I think that's it. Um, you know what I watched last night? <clears throat> Shane had to work last night, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit here and watch a movie. So I watched Legally Blonde. One of my favorite movies ever. Anything with Reese Witherspoon is good. But I watched Legally Blonde. What? Like it's hard? She's so funny. Warner. <clears throat> and she's like, he's like, what are you doing here? Did you, are you here to see me? And she goes, oh no. I go here. And he goes, you go where? Harvard. Law school? You got into Harvard? What? Like it's hard? <laughs> Love it. Love, that movie never gets old. That movie never gets old. Freaking hilarious. And I know I just rented it off Amazon for a couple bucks. And I know I have this the DVD in my house somewhere. <clears throat> but one, I don't know where it's at. And two, even if I did know where it was at, um, I don't have a DVD player anymore. I don't have a DVD player anymore. I haven't had a DVD player in years. Mm. Do you remember VCR tapes and you had a VCR and then you had your big tapes? Man, I remember when those first came out. I had a cousin that had a whole library of VCR and it was all part of their entertainment center and it was like this big to do and I remember going to their house and thinking god you're rich you guys have so much money <laughs> and then we eventually got our own VCR and started getting our own little collection of VCR movies but they had it displayed so pretty and they had so many movies to choose from and then here comes Redbox. Was it Redbox? No, Redbox was DVD. You, uh, Blockbuster, and you'd go rent movies, remember? You had to rewind them before you took them back. Be kind and rewind. <laughs> They're still funny. And then here comes the DVDs. Remember, you could go to Blockbuster rent DVDs. I've told this story before and it's real quick, but we're eating lunch, so I think it's been a long time. And for those of you who don't know, when me and the boys' dad were married, we lived down in Ardmore and I was, I got to be a stay-at-home mom for about four years and we were broke, but I got to stay home and uh, we lived in a little bitty house. It was like 800 square feet, two bedroom, one bath. Uh, me and Chris and the boys, Chris is their dad, and uh, lived out in the country in a little bitty town. They were sweet times. Anyway, um, I have nothing bad to say about their dad. 
nothing. I have much, much respect for my ex-husband. So anyway, um, <laughs> four years staying at home and I was doing the, you know, the school things and doing the sports things and doing the mom things and, um, eventually, you know, the kids were getting older and, uh, uh, you can only clean house so much. So I was getting bored. So I'm like, we went to Blockbuster to rent movies one Friday night. And I, the manager was there. And I was like, are you guys hiring? And she was so sweet. And she's like, as a matter of fact, I am. And I said, okay. She said, you want to apply? And I said, yeah. So I just landed myself a little part-time gig right then at the Blockbuster. And I went to work like just within a day or two. And worked part-time, part-time. And... Uh, what was her name? Begonia. Her last name was Begonia, like the flower. What was her first name? I loved her. She was a great boss. Anyway, I just wanted to work part-time for some fun money and to get out of the house. Because I'm busy. And I was getting bored. And uh, anyway, God, I worked there for probably a year, year and a half. And she kept wanting me to go full-time and be her assistant manager. And I was like, I don't want to. I could have. I said, I don't want to. I don't want to do all that. And she kept asking and kept asking. And I worked there until we moved. It was the funnest little job. No pressure. I knew everybody that came in. Anyway... When it was time to bring out new releases, you had to clean off the shelves with the old movies. Take them off. And I'm like, what do we do with all these old movies? And she's like, we put them in the shredder. Send them out to recycle. I was like, stop. All these DVDs are going to go in the shredder? And she's like, yeah. I said, so in other words, you're telling me I can take whatever I want. She said, I'm telling you, they're supposed to go in the shredder. I said, I got you, girl. We were supposed to shred them, and they would go into the recycle. But she let me take all of them. If they were coming off the shelf, I took them home. And all of the, um, like, cardboard, the life-size cardboard cutout, like Spider-Man or whatever movie, and, you know, the cardboard cutouts... And all the posters and all the the propaganda and paraphernalia or whatever you call it that comes with all the advertisements, all the posters. I got to take all those home too. And my boys thought that was the neatest thing. So they had movie posters all over their rooms and tons and tons of free DVDs. And it just had great little perks. It was fun. What's that noise? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. That's all I got. I'm going to sit here and finish my salad. I've been talking your ears off. I will see you later on at some point. Y'all. This is not easy. Extend the right leg back straight. Bend your right heel in towards your seat, and then for the added challenge, slide the right leg back a little bit. What are we doing? This has changed the game. I'm not sure what we're doing. The tighter you squeeze your heel in towards your seat, the deeper you will feel that strength shooting from the base of your seat all the way down the back of your leg. Keep squeezing. I guess we're squeezing our back. Press back. Little pulse back. Oh, here we go. Press. Here we go. Imagine a brick wall behind you. What's the booty? Your heel through it. If I'm doing this wrong, tell me. And then release. Lower that right leg down. Give yourself a quick moment. Shake your legs out. We switch sides. I love this. Right I love it. Walmart grocery pickup is ridiculous. They sent me a message, or I checked the app at 7.45, and they're like, 
It's ready. I've been waiting. Hold on. Anyway, <laughs> it's 825. Now I know why I don't ever do Walmart grocery pickup. And y'all know I love Walmart. But I ain't doing this again. The only reason I did it is because I didn't want to go shopping sweaty. You know what I mean? Like, I come out of there just nasty. Anyway, she went to go get my groceries so I can go home. I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. But this is not my jam. Another question of the day. Do you do Walmart grocery pickup? I don't recommend it. Okay, I think it's like 10 o'clock. What time is it? <coughs> 10, 12. And I'm tired. Walmart, Shane's snotting and coughing over here. Walmart finally brought out my groceries. That little girl said she was going to go get my groceries, and she didn't. So another 15 minutes went by. Um, so in total, I was there for 55 minutes waiting on an order they said was ready at 745 so I won't do that no more Shane just look he just mad thinking I want to know other people's experience we don't do pick up your groceries like we don't call in grocery or we don't do that we just go to the grocery store like old people I'm just curious what other people I'm just curious if you do do grocery where they shop for you is that is that normal that you got to sit out there for 30 minutes or an hour? Yeah, I've, heard, I've asked that. I'm just curious. We want to know. We want to know. Because, anyway. So, got home. Shane helped me unload the groceries. And uh, we made sandwiches. And we had pork rinds and beans dip and mixed nuts and I inhaled my food because I was starving um, and now it's after 10 and I'm tired so I'm just gonna sit by the fire look at here look at that sweet guy oh where are so Bo you go to sleep town and the other one look at this one over here Kips He's in the chair. So, we're usually in bed right now. It's like way past my bedtime. Anyway, that's all I got. I was going to wrap up. You got any final words? I don't have any final words. Any final words? No. We're going to be heading to bed soon. I'm tired. But guess what I don't have to do? I don't have to set my alarm and go to work tomorrow. And I don't have to go to work Friday. I'm, I'm real thrilled about that. So, we're going to sleep in. Well, we're going to wake up organically. No alarm. So that means it'll still probably be early, and but not 5, 5.30 early. And we're going to drink our coffee. We're going to clean the kitchen real quick because there's a sink full of dishes and neither one of us feels like doing it. I said I don't, I don't mind doing dishes. In the morning. I thought we were doing them in the morning. Yeah, it doesn't bother me to do the dishes. Like Eve and I. Yeah, that's dishes. what I was saying. There's a sink full of dishes. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to have our coffee. Maybe you're only here part of the story. So, sleep in, drink our coffee, he'll unload the dishwasher and I'll load it, and then we're going to get on the road and we're going to go to Norman, and um, Riley was having issues with her car, so we're going to go check on that and grab some lunch and see Riley and spend the day in Norman, and uh, well, we'll see you then. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you, the Lord loves you more, and we will see you on day 14.